Hey guys, Sam here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, tonight I thought I'd do the first review video for my channel on the latest guitar that I've added to my collection, which is the Ibanez RGRT421. I was after a versatile guitar with twin humbuckers and a five-way switch that I could use for teaching, and, uh, and this is what I ended up with. So this guitar cost me 825 Australian dollars, um, and the finish is called Weathered Black, which is a really nice finish. It's sort of like a porous uh, finish where you can see the wood through, and you can see the, um, the grain of the neck through as well, which is really nice. We'll start with the neck. So it's a five-piece maple walnut neck through, Wizard 3 neck by Ibanez. So it's nice and, uh, nice and fast and shreddy, like you'd expect from a wizard neck from Ibanez. It's got a Jatoba fretboard on it, which is, it looks very similar to Rosewood, you know. It's a, it might be a little bit lighter. It's got that reddish sort of grain to it, which is really nice. It goes well with the, with the black finish. And as I said before, it is a neck through guitar, which for 825 Australian dollars is a great bargain. Um, you can see the, uh, you can sort of see the wood grain of the, of the neck back there, if you can see it in the light properly. But yeah, just really nice. Now the body is uh, Naito Wings, very, very light guitar, which is great. And it's got 24 jumbo frets on there. The bridge is just an Ibanez string through bridge, uh, sort of like a hip shot style set bridge, which is what I was looking for as well with teaching. I'm constantly changing tunings. So, so that sort of bridge is uh, much more convenient than a Floyd Rose. The pickups are the Ibanez Quantum pickups, um, which I'll, I'll give my review on um, after I give you all some tones. I'll, I'll tell you the pros and cons of this guitar. And then it's just got a five way pickup switch which you get some really nice split tones with, which we'll go through in a minute. So let's start with some tones. So I'll start in a clean tone. Um, I'll give you a straight clean tone with a bit of reverb, then we'll add some delay on, so get some ambient style tones. Then we'll move up to a crunch rock tone, uh, and then we'll go high again at the end. Now all the tones today are coming from the Neural DSP Nolly plugin, uh, which has a really good wide variety of tones that I can get today. So let's start with a pure clean tone, little bit of reverb. We'll start in position one, and we'll go through all the positions. Position two. Middle position. And position five, neck pickup. So yeah, the, the tones you can get in it is quite versatile. It's got those really nice split tones. I'm a big fan of um, position four on this guitar for a clean tone. It's very good for strumming and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that position on this guitar. All right, so I've added a bit of delay in the Nolly plugin. Let's see if we can get some nice ambient sounds with that clean in position four. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so now it's time for some low gain crunch sort of rock tones. So I'll start at position one and go through all the different tones of the crunch setting now. Position two. 
position two. <laughs> in the middle. Real sort of spanky tone in that position with a bit of game. Position four. Pick up. All right, let's try some high gain metal stuff now. So uh, I'll start on the um, bridge pickup for this, and then I'll just go straight to the neck pickup because. Who uses high gain with the split coil, right? All right. and some lead with the neck pickup. through some pros and cons about this guitar. So we'll start with the pros. The biggest selling point for this guitar, in my opinion, is that it's a neck through guitar for under a thousand Australian dollars, which is pretty rare these days. Um, you get really good upper fret access with the neck through. It's a very comfortable neck, fast neck, what you'd expect from Ibanez. Nice thin uh, shredder sort of neck. It's very, very light, super light guitar, very easy to, uh, very comfortable, very easy to manage. Get a lot of versatility with the five-way switch, which is what drew me to this guitar as well, because I use it for teaching, anything from strumming chords to full metal shreddy stuff. So it's um, appealed to me that way as well. And I think it's a great guitar to start off um, if you want a modded guitar. So um, I'm probably gonna put different pickups, tuners, um, bridge on it later on, uh, but it's a very good bass to start on. Yeah, it's just very good quality. Now some cons about the guitar um, is well, when I first got it, when I first got it shipped, the, the knobs were actually on crooked for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, that was an easy fix. You just pull them off and put them on straight again. But yeah, they were all wonky when I when I turned them and they were all like off to the side, which is a bit weird. It, it might have happened during shipping, I don't know, but it not really a knock against Ibanez. It's more just, yeah, just the way it was shipped to me. Uh, the pickups are a little too dark for my taste, the Quantum pickups. I've got a Seymour Duncan JB line around, so I'll probably put that in the bridge instead. Um, the neck pickup's not too bad for what I use it for, like that position four I really like with the clean tones. Um, other than that, I use, you know, the bridge humbucker most of the time. 
And, and the biggest con about this guitar is, as good as the finish looks, it's very, very thin and uh, wears off very easily. I've had this guitar for probably five months now, and already you can start to see on the bottom there, up the edge, all the finish is wearing off up the side there, um, and the other side as well, across there. Um, and just every time you bump it, it, it shows the wood through it, um, which is, it, it doesn't worry me that much, you know. But if you're, a, if you're a person that likes to keep their guitars in really good condition, maybe this finish isn't for you, maybe this model isn't for you. But I don't mind guitars relicked up a bit with a few battle scars on it, so that doesn't worry me too much. But I actually think it was, uh, I was wearing pants with a, a zipped pocket, and I think that's what caused all that um, rubbing underneath there to, to take the finish off. But otherwise, it's a great looking finish, and if you don't mind a few, um, few bits of wood showing through here and there, then it's all right. It, for the price, for a mid-range guitar, if you're a, a beginner to intermediate guitar player with, with entry-level gear and you're looking to step up to the next level, then I think something like this is perfect. Or if you're a more experienced player just looking for, for a bash around guitar, you can mod, um, put you know lock and tuners, better bridge, better pickups in it later on. It's a really good base for a modder, for a modding guitar, I think. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with an all in all and I, I use it for teaching and um, it hasn't steered me wrong yet in the five months that I've had it. And yeah, Ibanez is um, offering a, a lot of good mid-range models these days. Thanks for checking this video out today, guys. Like and subscribe. And uh, check out my channel for more original playthrough videos and lesson videos. And I'll probably be putting more review videos up soon. Like I said, this is my first one. So let me know how I did in the comments and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.